Hello friends, this video on applications of biotechnology part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about the pest resistant plants. So in the previous slide we talked about the insect resistant plants. Now we will see pest resistant plants. Nematodes act as parasite for many plants. So I hope all of you remember the nematodes, the round worms. So they also act as parasite, that is they live inside a plant for quite some time and then uh, it, it gets all its nutrition from the plant and also harm the plant. So that, that's how it is a parasite for many plants. So what does it do? It reduces the crop yield and as a result the entire productivity decreases. So this has a negative effect on the uh, agriculture or on the crop productivity. So how can we overcome this? So for this we will talk about a new concept or a new process called RNAi that is RNA interference. So now we are going to talk about RNAi that is RNA interference. So here we will see how do we deal with or how do we achieve in getting pest resistant plants using the concepts of genetic engineering. So now we are going to talk about RNA interference which is often written in short as RNAi. Now what is this RNA interference? The word interference, what does it mean? It means when something interferes with the normal functioning of a process. For example, let us suppose that uh, you go to school every day at 7 o'clock in the morning. Now let's say one day it started raining very heavily and it rained so heavily that you could not start for your school at 7 o'clock and you started at 8 o'clock. So the rain was an interference for you to travel to school. So rain caused a disturbance to the normal process. So similarly here we will see that some disturbance will be created with the RNA. Now what kind of interference takes place and how does that help in uh, changing the gene expression? That is what we have to see here. So in short we can see that RNA interference is a pathway that regulates gene expression. So what is gene expression? Now we saw, we already saw that with genetic engineering we can control gene expression. We can decide which gene needs to be expressed and which gene is not supposed to be expressed. So that control is with us. So this pathway will help us to regulate gene expression. Now before we talk more about RNA interference, let us have a quick recap of what we have studied about the role of RNA in the process of gene expression. Now normally what happens is inside every cell there is a nucleus. So here you can see this portion, this sphere which you see that is the nucleus and this bigger uh, sphere is the cell. That is why you have the cell membrane here and this one is the nucleus, this part. Now inside the nucleus what happens is first there, there is a DNA which is the genetic material. So this DNA is the genetic material. So genes are present on the DNA. Now this DNA replicates. So replication of DNA takes place that is copies of DNA are being created and then this DNA DNA undergo the process of transcription where mRNA is synthesized from DNA. So RNA is synthesized from DNA. So initially pre-mRNA is synthesized. So if you remember the process of uh, transcription and translation and so on then you must be remembering that uh, by the process of transcription first pre-mRNA is formed. So pre-mRNA is formed and then from this pre-mRNA it undergoes splicing to form the mature mRNA. So here you can see this is the mature mRNA. Now once the mature mRNA is formed then it is released out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. So this is the mature mRNA and then it will be released out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. Now then what happens? Now this sequence of bases present on the mRNA decides the protein which needs to be synthesized. So the conversion of mRNA into proteins that is known as translation. So here you can see the process of translation is taking place. 
So you see the translation process here. So this is the mRNA and this these are the proteins which are getting created and that is how there are different RNAs which help in the process of trans translation like transport RNA that is tRNA, mRNA all of them together rRNA all the three RNAs together help in the process of translation. So basically this mRNA will then undergo the process of translation and during this process proteins will be synthesized based on the sequence of mRNA. So that is the entire process that is how uh, proteins are synthesized. Now depending on the pro proteins which are being synthesized the gene will be expressed. Very simple. Now what will happen in RNA interference? Now in RNA interference, this part of the, the of this process will get impacted. So now in this process, what will happen? RNA molecules inhibit gene expression by disrupting specific mRNA molecules. So specific mRNA molecules will be distracted or blocked. Now we, we say that proteins will be synthesized based on the mRNA. Now let us suppose if we block a particular sequence of mRNA, what will happen? The proteins which would have been created by that particular sequence will not get created now. So we are basically by blocking a portion of mRNA, we are actually preventing translation of that portion from taking place. So this is known as this process is known as silencing. Silence means to make something quiet. So we are actually making a part of our mRNA quiet. That is we are not allowing them to synthesize proteins and this is known as silencing or this concept is known as RNA interference because we are interfering with the uh, synthesis of proteins from RNA. Now since we are uh, disturbing the RNA that is why proper proteins are not being able to synthesize. So this is what happens in RNA interference. So here specific mRNAs are silenced in the cytoplasm and if these mRNAs are silenced then translation will not be able to take place then Proteins corresponding to those specific mRNAs will not be synthesized. So th this is how it happens. Now the question is how exactly are the mRNAs silenced? So how exactly do we block a portion of mRNA? So that is what we will try to understand in the next slide under RNA interference pathway. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.